<clears throat> Second leg on your triangle, if you will, is environment. Now remember I said that the environmental conditions that are our, our pathogens love are free water and moderate temperatures. Now unfortunately we cannot control the temperatures, but we can definitely uh, try to manipulate the um, free water. And that could be humidity. It can be soil moisture because a moist soil will raise the humidity in the canopy. Plus, we have to remember that a root system underground is, is going to be exposed to water, uh, good and bad. Um, also, temperature, again, we can use shading, those types of things to control temperature or lack of. Um, but thinking of site selection, spacing plants for air circulation. Think of air circulation as the big fan that helps dry leaves off as quickly as possible, especially in the mornings. Um, pruning, pruning to increase that air circulation within that canopy. And then of course there are microclimates, topography, soil drainage, air drainage down in the bottoms of uh, hills. Orientation, John talked about that earlier this morning, is the facing of your rows. Uh, buildings and structures, sometimes they might block a cold winter wind, but they can also block the sun in the morning. When we get into some hilly regions like eastern Kentucky, sometimes we see, we don't see sunlight, direct sunlight into a planting until noon. And that really makes a difference in terms of disease pressure. Uh, overhead trees, hanging trees, you know, creating shade. That we see a lot of that, believe it or not. So um, that makes a difference. And the more quickly that we can dry off our leaves, the less risk we have for disease. The, the pathogen does not have that free water that it needs to penetrate. So um, clearing it out and getting that air circulation, drying those leaves, really critical. <clears throat> and then I, I talked about this a couple of times, drainage. Uh, I know here we've had a lot of problems with Phytophthora root rot. It is, a, it is a root rot that requires free water. Uh, the pathogen requires free water. So a good drainage, absolutely critical for root health. Raised beds, John talked about that too this morning. By raising those beds, we're taking those roots out of that saturated zone and, and helping dry them out. Um, talking about pH again in, uh, under environment, pathogen inhibition can be a really big deal. Phyto the Phytophthora pathogen, for instance, it's inhibited by lower pHs. So anything under about four is really going to inhibit the movement of those swimming spores, those zoospores that I'll talk about later. So pH can really make a difference in terms of the pathogen. Soil type, irrigation, overhead irrigation versus drip irrigation, all of those things can manipulate these pathogens. And we can use this to help suppress disease and lower our risk for infection in the first place. <clears throat>